योर क्वेश्चन इज ड्रॉ अ डायग्राम शोइंग द क्वाड्रेंट इन द रोटेशन लाइन ओ पी लाइन फॉर ईच एंगल ऑन ईच डायग्राम इंडिकेट द डायरेक्शन ऑफ रोटेशन एंड स्टेट एक्यूट एंगल दैट द ओ पी मेक्स विथ एक्स एक्सिस तो नाउ वॉट वी हैव टू डू वी हैव टू ड्रॉ ऑन एक्स एंड वाई एक्सिस दैट इज कॉर्डिनेट सिस्टम तो हियर दे हैव गिवेन यू हंड्रेड डिग्री तो हाउ इट विल बी इट विल बी जस्ट लाइक दिस तो दिस इज योर एक्स एक्सिस एंड दिस इज योर वाई एक्सिस एंड दिस कम्स योर सेंटर दैट इज योर ओ now what they have told us that we have to draw a line from op op indicating the direction also now if you see here so 100 degree means it's a positive one positive 100 degree so positive 100 degree how it will be from x if you comes from the east this is the east direction from east direction we have to start from anti clockwise so this is your first quadrant this is your second quadrant this comes your third quadrant and this comes your fourth quadrant now we have to draw 100 degree So hundred degree is where you can see from here to here it is ninety degree. After that only ten degree should be required. That means this is the line. This is the line. This is hundred degree. So now your rotation is anti-clockwise. It is given positive. That means it will be anti-clockwise. so now we will start from here and we have to reach here and make a arrow here so this is your anti clockwise direction they have told us to draw and here we will write 100 degree next what they have told see the direction of the rotation we have drawn and state acute angle so acute angle means what that means from the x axis that means we we have to make base angle base angle is what so base angle is what i have told you it is the shortest path from x axis so you can see the x axis here the so shortest path to reach here it is this is the shortest path not this the shortest path is this from here to here hai na shortest path so now if this is 100 degree and total is 180 degree so this remains is 80 degree so this is your 80 degree so what we will write we will write it lies in second quadrant second quadrant and 80 degree that is your acute angle next here they have given minus 100 degree so how it will be it will be just the same this is your x this is your y this is your o so now here they have given negative negative means we have to move clockwise so this is your first this is your second this comes your third and this comes your fourth same so now we have to move from here so now it will be from here we have to move in clockwise direction so minus 100 means from here to here it is minus 90 and here it comes as minus 100 so now we have to draw that
so that is from here to here this is minus 100 degree next we have to draw the direction we have already marked the arrow next what we have to do we have to make a acute angle that means the shortest path from the x axis that is this from here to here if you move from here to here it is minus 180 degree minus 180 degree so remaining how much it is so that is minus of minus 100 that is equal to we can say it's minus 180 plus 100 that is equal to minus 80 degree but we should not write minus we have to write positive how much difference is there that is your base angle that is only 80 degree so here we will write which quadrant third quadrant and base angle is 80 degree so this we have to write next comes 310 degree so 310 degree is positive we have to see that so this is your x axis this is your y axis this is your o so again we have to mark the quadrants so this is your first quadrant this is your second this is your third and this is your fourth now draw it so here it is positive that means we have to move anti-clockwise and 310 is where so you can see if you move first is 90 second is 180 third is 270 so 270 plus something is 40 degree is 3 times. So we have to make 40 degree from here. That means it will be just like this. And the angle will start from your anti-clockwise. That means like this. So this is your 310 degree. Now next is your we have to find out acute angle so angle acute angle is the shortest distance from the x-axis that means this how much it is 310 plus 50 is 360 degree totally 360 degree so 50 degree is this so here what we have to write it lies in fourth quadrant and 50 degree so this way we have to do it 